Hello everyone, and welcome, welcome to, to Watching Twin Peaks for the, for the first time. time. We're doing something different today. Yes, because we we watched Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. A while ago. A it's little gone while in ago. my memory. Oh no. no Do we need to watch it again? No. Let's do it again. Well no, because we have to watch everything for the first time. Yes, that's true. And but it's, it's still okay. watching for the first time, and Mackenzie hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> we're gonna watch little bits of the yes. missing pieces. So the I deleted know. scenes that uh, so that small. David Lynch eventually decided to yeah. sort of gather and and distribute Perfect. in a special box CD. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be watching it on YouTube. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. Uh, so I mean, you're watching this. On let's YouTube, see so what you about. what you think of some of these things. So here's the here's the uh, the right. first one. This is this is just the introduction. Okay. I don't know if this was meant to be part of the movie. Okay. But here it is. You know, a little wind? Yeah, a little wipers. You're about to see. The missing pieces. It's interesting. She's surrounded by like statues. Yeah. And then in the red and room. And Dean has a bunch of statues. It's true. I was thinking in the, in the, <laughs> yeah, the, in the red, red room. room there's, statues. there's a focus on statues, definitely. From. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That's very pretty, actually. Mm -hmm. Are the tiles red? Are they black? I think they're black. They're, they look kind of reddish, they though, don't they? They look kind of red every time we see them. Because I think the lighting, it's, maybe? Yeah, the, yeah. All right, what did you think of that? That was pretty good. It's a pretty good introduction, huh? Pretty good. David Lynch lets us know. It's yeah. like, hey, I'm going to take my time. Hey. Slow down. Join me or die. <laughs> or die while joining me because yeah. I take forever. Okay. <laughs> Desmond's MO. Did you get the paperwork? Yes. Geez, Agent Desmond, it's 3 30. Where are we going to sleep? We're not. You and I are going to get something to eat. Yes. I didn't realize so many hours had passed. Did you, Agent Desmond? You have your own MO, don't you, Agent Desmond? <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. All right. That's so, interesting. In the movie, they have that scene with the yeah, same angle. So this is extended. Except, except it's different. Because in the other one, they say, like, oh, we're going to get a bite to yeah. eat. Hi, sounds good. Yeah. And in this, and in this one, <laughs> in this one, uh, so there's the idea of like he says, "Hey, I didn't know so many hours went by." Did right. you, Agent Did Desmond? You? He doesn't respond. You have your own MO, don't you, Desmond? But there's something interesting about like when people go into the black or the white lodge, yeah. and the time time's not the same. The, the time is is different, yeah. uh, and so when Agent Desmond disappears, do you think that's the first time he's disappeared? Well, that answer makes me think no. Right, because he does, that, he's, he's not responding. What if the FBI is just like this never dying industry? Maybe, maybe. Like they don't, I don't know, they don't age. All right, here, here's another clip. Taps. That clown. The clown, oh my goodness. It's the left side of the clown's face is on and the right side is on. Um, That's pretty fun. <laughs> Is it haps or heps? Hex? Haps? Haps? I think it's haps. haps. Yeah, it's haps. Although there is, that little apostrophe does kind of look like an E. So it's hapes? Hapes! Yeah, like crepes. Look at this long scene of them just walking in there. I love that. Taking our time. <laughs> oh, okay. Now yeah, this is going to make more sense. Back in the 850s, when half would run this place. Where's half? He's dead, good and dead. Sorry to hear that. Nah, he didn't suffer. I'd like to ask you some questions about Teresa Banks. Sure, Cable already asked me out. You question about Teresa Banks. She worked night for a month. That's it. Are friends? No. Did you ever see her with someone else? No. What's it say on this little thing? Say, say hello to Jack, but then it's crossed out and says yeah, goodbye. She never mentioned any friends. No, 
past Irene about that. Ooh. I like now, the little name Irene is her name, and it is night. Don't take it any further than that. There's nothing good about it. Hmm. Thank you, Jack. Hmm. Is the man welding? Oh, that damn that. light going. Oh, he's, he's fixing the light? Yeah. Could not tell. I thought that was like a weird old fashioned sewing machine. Like he's like, oh, here's my crazy oh. like welding yeah, light sewing light machine. It. But it's funny that he's like doing some welding equipment to fix a lamp or something like that. Yeah, and it's plugged in. There's also that someone that's just sitting in the, the doorway yeah, here. Yeah, he's just vibing. Uh, let's see, let me find that again. Zap. See, it looks like a little. So this guy here. Him just sit in a non doorway, like an elevator. He's door. like a giant gnome. Or that's just sitting person. there. Oh, there's sparks flying. And what's there's something by his hand? Like, is it a is pen? it a tampon? It looks like the shape of a tampon. Uh, I don't think it's. No, it's his chair. He's on a chair. Oh yeah, it's you're right. Oh, so he's not sitting on the floor. It. But the most interesting thing to me is his name tag is says instead say of say hello, hello to, Jack. to Jack, hello is crossed out. Goodbye. Say goodbye to Jack. Okay. And Jack is the name of the monkey in David Lynch's strange yeah. little short film. Weird. Yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't think we're supposed to think anything about that one. <laughs> like, you know, every time, like, I watched that thing twice. Oh, like, you watched it I twice? To get something out? Yeah. Okay. After we watched it, I went back and I was like, I think I watched this again. And I watched it again. Less sense. No, I can't. I don't want to put anything onto that. So you just want to allow I that just want to, to be do... nonsense? Yeah. Like, I get, like, it's like, oh, my gosh, he murdered someone. The chicken. But, like, I don't think that's any useful information. I, I think it's all part of Twin Peaks. <laughs> uh, but there is the monkey. There's the monkey that's in Fire there Walk is, with me. But it's, I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same monkey. I think he just likes the image of monkeys. So are you going to be, would you be disappointed if you found out that that Jack video that you've seen twice that's already, it's like, like, that's the end of Twin Peaks. That's the climactic <laughs> ending. Good versus evil happens in that. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of a nice ending then. Okay. Because he does get caught. Yeah. There's some closure. Yeah. It seems like he gets caught. I mean, yeah. it happens off, off stage. Yeah. You kind of assume that the monkey gets caught. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let, All right. <laughs> let's uh, go. The next one. Well, this oh, one's longer. The moon. There's the moon. Some Is electricity. Leaving haps. Oh, look. Inside that oh, there's health three. wanted and there's balloons in there. Oh, yeah. Open health wanted. And there's wanted just those three people. Sam? Dude, just I ought to see the sunrise. The Fat Trout Trailer Park. <gasps> Fat Trout. Are you talking to me in code? No, oh, Sam. I'm speaking plainly. I mean exactly what I said. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, in that case, we should go to the Fat Trout Trailer Park. Thanks, Irene. Good, good. Warning. <laughs> no, I'm speaking swaybly. Next, show them drive. <laughs> Just show us too much. <laughs> show her drive too. Show her drive. No, what happened? I see her drive. I love she drives. She might just die there. I think she disappeared into another realm. <laughs> I remember, remember these jerks. Oh yeah, anti Andy. The deer, yeah, the Deer Meadows <laughs> Police Department. Oh, a bale of hay, I guess. Oh, <gasps> we get to see him bend the metal. I hope he can. That's what I hope. Is this just what they do every morning? It's what they do when the feds show up. Try that, you little monkey. You little monkey. monkey! Monkey! I think I'll just take this badge off, yeah, Edgar, if you don't mind. This is weird. Okay. 
The you only still way to get uniform. that body out of here. Over there. Oh, look at all the bent cable. Oh, He's just bent been floor. doing rebarb. That's why I was saying like steel. every yeah, every morning. Oh, are they gonna fight? I hope he just hugs him or just takes a punch. I do love these far away shots. Like I'm just yeah. watching something from a window. Like I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> Oh, he looks like he could be Captain America. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, that's a federal crime. <laughs> you should have picked up a piece of rebarb. Uh, he was going to. No, no, I mean like pick it up and hit him. Yeah. <laughs> It's interesting at that point to make after we watch this fight, <laughs> this sad fight. <laughs> it's funny that, you know, he doesn't look that strong. No, he does not. He looks, uh, he, he looks, he like, looks a, like he might be mugged every week. <laughs> All right. In, oh. Uh oh. Oh, get him. He also must not have hit him very hard because, like, like he's. A Agent Desmond? Yeah. Yeah. Because he didn't get, like, sure. hurt. Sure. Probably what happened is that he's been working out with, like, really soft yeah. rebar <laughs> that's, that's actually Rusted. very, very pliable and bendable. And, and so he's oh. become overconfident. Yeah. This is a tale of hubris. Honestly, some of these shots look I'm, like I'm beating up this old man. Like I'm playing a video game. Like I'm in it Skyrim. does have a video game feel to it. <laughs> Maybe it's the way he looks because he kind of looks like a character in this Skyrim. This goes back to my theory about that this whole sequence is a tutorial level. Yeah. yeah. Try like a, I'm taking Try a combination too long. punch. Like I love how the FBI just watches this happen. <laughs> this has been a lot of punches. <laughs> and it's a lot of blood. I'm props to the dude for keeps like just keep standing. He's not even throwing punches anymore. Every punch symbolizes each episode of the original Twin Peaks. I wonder how many punches there are. <laughs> are there 20. 27 punches? <laughs> Get him! <laughs> We gotta go. Oh, oh he actually made contact. Oh. I know. I'm surprised he didn't do this before. Oh, see, I know this is the part really where you gotta be fighting AB, with, his, AB. with his gun. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a bad idea. I'll go, although they're both kind of like they're stunned. There. Yeah, it's true. He's got some blood on his Ew. This one's coming from J. Edgar. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, that one hurts. <laughs> you can just punch it. It yeah. looks pretty real. No, it does. It does yeah. look like a video game. Yeah. It feels like I'm playing a video game and I made content. And then I chose my oh, little catchphrase. This is what he was going to do. Oh, snap it. Who's next? <laughs> it's just going to beat up. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> Interesting. You know who wouldn't have done this? Albert. Yeah, Albert would not have. And he wouldn't have watched either. Dead. <laughs> Killed. Okay, so what I was going to say is that I just realized in watching that clip that everyone who is like classically handsome or pretty uh -huh. in Twin Peaks, their counterpart in this Deer Meadows is ugly. Like they're just like very not, uh -huh. they don't look good. You know what gotcha. I mean? Like the way they dress, the mm. way they've done their hair does not look good. However, the two people who are kind of funny, silly, and they kind of dress weird, mm -hmm. and I think they look good. I think Andy and Talking Lucy, look, Andy and Lucy? Uh -huh. look pretty good. Sure, sure. 
but their counterparts are like classically beautiful and handsome. They look better. Like they're like, yeah, I'm slick. Oh, that's funny. So I thought that was interesting, little counterparts. Because we yeah. see the sheriff, we see uh, the diner. That's true. The owner of the little park. Mm -hmm. I imagine that that's supposed to be Ben Horn, oh. like of the trout park. Gotcha. So they yeah. all look like not what, oh. like they don't look beautiful. There's very interesting thinking of Ben Horn's counterpart is the manager of the, the fat yeah. trout. I mean, he's park. been through a lot. It sure. Shows ben well, Horn. and also that that um you know they're both places with multiple yeah. rooms multiple yeah. places to stay yeah. all right well fascinating yeah, stuff fascinating. and uh we will watch a few more of these clips Absolutely. uh later on so See you talk later. to you later bye bye